Good afternoon, students. Um, today in uh, literature, I'm going to um, start with set five, which is about drama in the Elizabethan period. Okay, I'm going to share with you a, a Google presentation with a information that is uh, very important. Uh, all the information you have to um, study in this set. Okay, uh, drama and religious rituals seem to have been bound up with each other in the earlier stages of all civilizations. Um, so far as we can um, write the history of English drama, it begins with the elaboration of the ecclesiastical liturgy in mutually answering dialogues. Uh, of the other sources of uh, pre-Christian seasonal festival, St. George and um, Robin Hood plays, and they were um, called the Maple Dances, and similar folk activities uh, that uh, were considered the, the beginning of the English drama of the time. The early church fathers saw Roman active drama in its last immoral and degenerated phase and understandably condemned it. And even this decadent theater disappeared with so much else under the impact of the barbarian invasion of the sixth century. Okay. Um, the ritual of the pre of the Christian church with its two great festival of um, Christmas and Easter and its um, celebration of the significant points in Christ's um, career from birth to resurrection were itself inherently dramatic. Okay, liturgical drama acted within the church as embellishment of ecclesiastical ritual gave a way to place in English performed in the open and completely divorced uh, from the liturgy, though still religious in subject matter. These are known as a miracle plays. Miracle plays must have developed rapidly in the 13th century. So there are records of cycles of miracle plays in many regions of England during the 14th and 15th centuries and well into the 16th. Uh, the presentation of plays could not be indifferent to the seasons, so uh, that they were no longer active at the different church festivals. Um, the establishment of the Feast of Corpus Christi, in um, sometimes falling in May or June, confirmed and uh, then later in 1311, provided a suitable day for the acting of miracle plays. Though some cities prefer a uh, with some. Corpus Christi's day was suitable, not only because of the time of the year when it fell, but also because being a processional observance with the host carried about and displayed at various uh, stations, it proved naturally hospitable to dramatic performances. Uh, now, uh, this is just an introduction of the beginning of English drama, and now I'm going to show you the different uh, presentations, the different uh, slides, where you have um, a part of the history, the, the origins of drama. You may see here some facts about the origins of drama. Here you have a piece of information to read. Roman drama, the theater in the Roman world uh, with a picture of it, they call amphitheaters. 
Okay. Then a brief summary of the characteristics of Greek and Roman drama. We cannot, uh, I mean, forget or deny the, 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 the origin of, of drama. It started in the ancient um, Greece and later on in Rome. Uh, so it is just, uh, um, I would say, extra information that you may know. But what's important in uh, our subject is, um, let's say, a so-called revival of drama during the, um, in the Elizabethan period, OK? Here you have more about the history. to St. Terence, very famous um, dramatist of, um, in Italy. Here you have information about them. Terence. As I told you, you don't need to, um, I mean, to study all these. You just need to know the fact that they existed and that they were the predecessors of what we know as the English drama. And now, English drama. Drama from the Miracle Place to Marlow. This is uh, the, about what I just read from the book. It's about the origins of uh, English drama that you have in your um, bibliography to expand to on this uh, to kind of um, place. And of course, William Shakespeare. We are going to uh, read a play by Shakespeare, which um, this uh, year is Othello. You're going to read Othello. And here you have the different uh, plays uh, Shakespeare wrote, uh, comedies, tragedies, and historical plays. You have all of it here, okay? Here another picture of him, Shakespeare. And it is the Globe Theatre, which belonged to William Shakespeare. Okay. Very famous Globe Theatre. And this is what you have to bear in mind when analyzing drama. You also have the um, a bio, bibliography on it. Um, that is an extract from a book that I gave you. We have to analyze drama, bear in mind, this plot diagram, okay? We have the different uh, parts of the uh, play. We have exposition, rise in action, climax, fall in action, and denouement. This is what you are going to look for in um, when analyzing Othello, okay? Or any other play. Okay, and that's all you have to know from this set. And now, um, you are a free to read and make your own summary, but always take this as a guide, okay? Uh, goodbye, see you next class.